Hi. Today we're going to be looking at section 1.4, solving simultaneous systems algebraically by substitution. So as you can see by the frog there catching whatever it's catching, whether it's a spider or a fly or something, I imagine it's not a fly because I don't think flies uh, hang on webs or threads, uh, so perhaps it's a spider. But as we can see there, um, substitution method is used to eliminate one of the variables by replacement when solving a system of equations. Think of it, if you will, as grabbing what one variable equals from one equation and plugging it into the other equation. So I guess you could look at the spider and the frog scenario and think, okay, that makes sense. How about another way of looking at it? I uh, have designed this beautiful house and let's take a look at the equations. So let's suppose that this window has a glass in it, so it's actually a complete window. So the equation that we were looking at is x plus 2y equals 9. So I'm going to say this is y, because there's glass in that window. And of course we've got the plus 2 there. And that equals 9. Now this window frame is x. Okay. But we see that the actual window, that window is x equals 3 plus y. So if I were to substitute this window, which is 3 plus y, so x equals 3 plus y, we don't need this anymore. And I substitute this window into the window frame there. Then we end up getting 3 plus y in where that slot is in the house plus 2y equals 9. So now we have the glass in both of the windows and the glass is represented by the variable y. Okay, as another little illustration. So now if we were to then continue with this, um, in our example, we look at example A, we're going to solve simultaneously for x and y algebraically by substitution, as you can read quite plainly, and then we're going to verify the solution by using a proper left side, right side check. So we've got one equation which is x plus 2y equals 9, and another equation which is x equals 3 plus y. Well as we can see, x equals 3 plus y, and over here we have an equation with x and y on the same side. So what if we were to then substitute this 3 plus y in for where x is, so we'd end up getting 3 plus y plus 2y equals 9. And now it's just a matter of simplifying. So we simplify the left side, so we get 3 plus 3y equals 9. Subtract 3 from both sides, we get 3y equals 6. And then we divide both sides by 3, so we get y equals 2. Now what we do is we're going to substitute this. Whoops, sorry about that. We're going to now substitute this y equals 2 in for y in the second equation which is already set up as x equals. So therefore, x equals 3 plus 2, which is what y equals from this first step. And then we just a little bit of simple addition, x equals 5. Now we still have to check to make sure this is correct. So in equation number 1, the left side equals x which is 5 plus 2 times y which is 2 so 5 plus 4 equals 9 and the right side as you can see is 9 so right side equals 9 therefore left side equals right side now that's for equation 1 because we have two equations Here's the second equation we have to check. We also have to do the proper left side, right side check for equation two. So these solutions have to check 
in both equations. So left side equals, well the left side is just x, and we know that x is 5, so left side equals 5. The right side is 3 plus y, we know y is 2, so 3 plus 2 is 5, therefore left side equals right side, and then therefore the solution is x equals 5 and y equals 2. Okay, so now let's take a look at example B. And it's a little more challenging. We see here that we have x over 2 plus y over 3 equals 5 and x over 3 plus y over 4 equals 1. We have to do the same thing. We need to um, solve this by substitution. Now take a few moments to see um, what the best way to substitute would be. Is there a really simple way? You have to do a lot of algebraic manipulation first to do some substitution? Or can you maybe think of a way that's a little bit easier to do the substitution? Okay, so pause the video for a second and then come back and check to see what I've done, which by no means is the only solution. There are many different ways to do these. Okay, so just pause it for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think uh, you've had a little chance to figure this out or to take a look at it anyways. Um, now like I said, there's there are many different ways of doing this. This is just one of the many. Now because we have denominators 2 and 3 over here and 3 and 4 over here, what I'd like to do is I actually like to clear the fraction get rid of those denominators. So what I'm going to do is, because I see the lowest common multiple here would be 6, I'm going to multiply through by 6 so I can clear that fraction. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, so we're going to have 3x. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so I'm going to have 2y. And then 6 times 5 is 30. Okay, so there's one uh, equation without fractions now. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. We've got 3 and 4, so those common multiple would be 12. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 12, or multiply the whole thing by 12. So 12 divided by 3 gives me 4. 12 divided by 4 gives me 3, and that gives me 12. Okay, so now there's still nothing that we can really substitute as is right now. So I'm going to have to do another little thing. Now I probably could have done that in one step had I been thinking ahead. Uh, which I wasn't, so I'm just going to have to take another step. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually substitute for y. Over here we substituted in for x, so here I'll just change this up and sub substitute for y. So I'm going to get a common coefficient here, so I get uh, 6y in both sides. So I'm going to multiply through this first equation by 3 and the second equation by 2. And we'll multiply through, we get 9x plus 6y equals 90. And then 6y equals 90 minus 9x. And then over here, we're going to have 8x plus 6y equals 24. Therefore, 6y equals 24 minus 8x. So because this uh, 90 minus 9x equals 6y, and 24 minus 8x equals 6y. That means that these two things must be equal to each other. So, 90 minus 9x. So here's the substitution part. I'm just um, replacing the 6y with this 90 minus 9x because this equals 6y. And that equals 24 minus 8x. I add 8x to both sides, so we get negative x. Subtract 90 from both sides. Sorry about that. Um, and we get negative 66. And we divide through by negative 1, so we get x equals 66. And now we'll substitute in again. So now we're going to substitute this into this first equation here. You could do it over here too, but I'll go this way. So 6y equals 90 minus 9 times 66. 90 minus 594 is negative 504 um, 
and then so when you divide both sides by 6 we get y equals negative 84. So we have x equals 66 and y equals negative 84. Now, I mean it worked out well, however, do we know for sure if that's the correct solution? I'll flip back over to where my house was and we'll do the left side right side check for example 2. So the left side, this is for equation 1, the left side is, I'm going to substitute in the values of x and y, so 66 over 2 plus negative 84 over 3, so we get 33 plus negative 28, add those together and we get 5. And the right side, as you can see, is 5, so therefore left side equals right side. Okay, so far so good. Now in equation 2, we also have to check that. The left side is, and substituting in the values for x and y, 66 over 3 plus negative 84 over 4. So we get 22 plus negative 21. That equals 1. And the right side, as you can see, equals 1. Therefore, left side equals right side. Therefore, the solution is x equals 66, y equals negative 84, which can also be written in ordered pair form 66, negative 84. So that is uh, the example part of the lesson for um, solving simultaneous systems uh, using algebra and substitution. So please go ahead and work on the um, assigned work. You can do that in class tomorrow. Uh, you might want to give a couple a try at home tonight just to kind of keep it fresh in your mind and then you can do the rest of it in class. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in class.